Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we are going to learn types of lines. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover today in this video. First is types of lines, then types of lines with respect to direction. After that, intersecting lines, perpendicular lines and parallel lines. There are three types of lines. Line, line segment and ray. Let's understand them one by one. First, we are going to learn about line. A line is a set of points which extends forever in opposite directions. For example, this is a line. The arrow on its both sides represent that a line goes indefinitely in both the directions. So students, it means a line has no fixed length. Now, let me tell you how to read and write a line. For this, we need to take two points. Let's take G and H. So, we read a line as line GH or line HG. Both the ways are fine. Similarly, we can write it as GH or HG with a small line drawn on it. So, properties of line are a line has no end points. It extends indefinitely in both the directions. And since line extends indefinitely in both the directions, it has no definite length. Now, let's understand line segment. A line segment is a straight path between two points. It is the shortest distance between two points. For example, there are two points DE. So, line segment is the straight path between these two points. Now, let me show you how to read and write line segment. We will read it as Line segment DE or line segment ED. Both the ways are fine. Similarly, we can either write it as DE or ED with a small line segment on it. Also, students do remember that a line segment has a definite length. Now, Let's see some real life examples of line segment. Edges of duster or edges of a ruler. They are line segment because they have a definite length. So students, properties of line segment are Line segment has two end points. And secondly, line segment has definite length. If you still not have subscribed to our channel Learning Notebook, then do subscribe it and make sure to press the bell icon. Now let's understand Ray. A ray is a part of the line that has a starting point and it goes on forever in one direction. It means Ray also has no fixed length. It cannot be measured. For example, this is a ray. It has a starting point called K and it goes indefinitely in one direction towards J. Now, let me show you how to read and write ray. We will read the 
starting point first. So it will be read as Re KJ. The students, there is only one way to read they. That is by reading the starting point first. And now how to write it? We will write it KJ with a small way drawn over it. Now let's see some real life examples of ray. Ray is from sun and ray is from flashlight. These are examples of ray because they have a starting point and they go indefinitely in one direction. So properties of ray are ray has one end point. And since ray can extend indefinitely in one direction, ray has no definite length. Students, we would like to tell you that we have made videos on every chapter from class 1 to class 10 mathematics. We also have interesting maths quizzes, worksheets, working models, activities and projects on each chapter. So I would suggest you to check out our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's learn types of lines with respect to direction. Students, there are three types of lines with respect to direction. Horizontal line, vertical line, and oblique line. Let's first understand horizontal line. So first type of line is horizontal line or we can call it sleeping line. Like here, this pencil is lying flat on the ground or we can say that this pencil is lying horizontally. Similarly, a line drawn horizontally is called a horizontal line. Like here, this line AB is drawn horizontally and therefore it is a horizontal line. Now let's understand second type of line which is vertical line or we call it as standing line. Look at this flag mast. It is standing on the ground or we can say it is standing vertically on the ground. Similarly, a line which is drawn vertically is called a vertical line. Like here, CD is drawn vertically. So, it is a vertical line. So, students, do remember anything which is lying flat is said to be in a horizontal position, while anything standing straight upright is said to be in a vertical position. Now the third type of line is oblique or slanting line. A line which is neither horizontal nor vertical is called an oblique or a slanting line. Let's take an example. Look at this figure of a ladder on a vertical wall. It is in a slanting position. So, a line which is drawn in a slanting position is called an oblique line. Here, line EF is drawn in a slanting position. So EF is an 
oblique line. Our next topic is relation between lines. There are three such lines. Intersecting lines, perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Let's first learn about intersecting lines. First type is intersecting lines. Intersecting lines are the lines that meet or cross at a common point. Like here, line AB and line CD are intersecting at a common point E. Now let me show you some more examples of intersecting lines. Students, all these are also intersecting lines as when we extend them. They are going to cross at a common point. Like here, I have shown you that when we extend this pair of lines, they are meeting at or they are intersecting at a common point. Now let's talk about perpendicular lines. Next type is perpendicular line. Perpendicular lines are also intersecting lines, but they intersect to form four right angles. As you can see here, line CD is perpendicular to line AB and they are intersecting at point E to form four right angles. We have a special symbol to denote perpendicular lines. So we will write line CD is perpendicular to line AB. So this is the symbol of perpendicular lines. We can recognize perpendicular lines in 2D shapes as well. Like this in square, like this in rectangle, and like this in rhombus. They all have 90 degree angle. In the same way, we can recognize perpendicular lines in our daily life. Like if we bend our arm, we can recognize this perpendicular line. Next, in the currency note, and then in the clock when it is showing 9 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Now let's learn about parallel lines. Parallel lines are the lines that are always same distance apart and they never touch or intersect each other. Like here you can see line AB is parallel to line CD because they are at same distance from each other and they will never touch or intersect each other. We have special symbol to denote parallel lines. So we write AB is parallel to CD and this symbol in red is the symbol of parallel lines. We can draw parallel lines in any way, vertically, horizontally and even in slanting way as you can see here. Students, we can recognize parallel lines in 2D shapes as well. Like this in square, then like this in rectangle and like this in rhombus. Let me show you one more way. Like this in square, again like this in rectangle and then like this in rhombus. We can also recognize parallel lines in our daily life. Let me show you some examples. Like in cricket wickets, 
then like this in any currency node and then like this on load lines. So, students, this was all about parallel lines. Now, I am sure you have understood everything about types of lines. Thanks for watching this video and do share my channel and my videos with your friends and family. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.